Hello, my name is Kyle Rivas and I am your host. Joining me as host is Jared Maldonado and we would like to welcome you to your virtual Senior Breakfast 2020 and the show will go on. As we look back on your senior year, we can definitely say that it has been historic and unchartered. However, as we look forward to the future, we know that the show will go on. We know that we must celebrate our accomplishments and look forward to the future. We now have two unique people from our senior class that have a few words to say. Our first speaker is Zoe Saxon. Hello fellow seniors and soon to be graduates of Barrington. It's Barrington, it's Barrington. Of course, it's Barrington. Congrats. Ugh. Sorry guys, Um, it's been so long since I've had to yell, we are Barrington. I guess I just forgot who we are. But don't worry, Principal McWilliams and the rest of the staff and teachers here at BHS have not only been consistently reminding us to take our Naviance graduation surveys, to take our Naviance graduation surveys, but also about the community that we'll miss so much here because after all, we are Barrington. We are B, bored. We are A, arguing with our parents. We are R, ready to cry at any given moment. We are another R, relatively stable. We are I, in this for the long haul, whether we like it or not. We are N, never going to cook another meal at home after this is over. We are G, going to go absolutely crazy if school G crashes one more time. We are T, totally and fully looking forward to graduating on an iPad screen. We are O, on top of our assignments, please stop emailing me. And most importantly, we are N. We are not going to let these past two months define the outstanding successes of the past four years, okay? Because in reality, we did so much more than sit at home and procrastinate. We also sat at school and procrastinated. That's important. Now, I'm gonna try to get a little sentimental, which for those of you that know me, is a territory I often leave uncharted. But I've decided that delivering a senior commencement speech during a global pandemic is as good a time as ever to get a little emotional. Now, I've known most of you for four years. I've known about half of you for seven years and I've known the lucky 35 of you for 12 years. Now, according to my calculations, 12 years is a long time. You know, 12 years ago, Bronco Billy was still called Bronco William. And as Pony William turned into Bronco Billy, and as our netbooks turned into MacBooks and soon to be iPads, our little first grade selves turned into sixth graders and then freshmen and then seniors before we even knew it. We grew together. Educationally speaking, I'm still 5'2". We all learned we hated the swimming unit together. We watched the cafeteria food grow more edible and more edible as the days went by. And we watched the school manifest an entire coffee stand right before our eyes. But most importantly, we watched our friends and our peers around us find their passions as we did the same. Now, to be quite honest, I spent the majority of my freshman and sophomore years sitting in Dean Robinson's office as she begged me to, you know, care a little bit about school. And here I stand, committed to my dream school, studying the thing I love most in the world. So if this is any testament for hard work and having surrounding yourself with good people, if Zoe Zaxon can get through her sophomore year of high school, you guys best believe you can do anything you put your minds to. And that's a Zoe Zaxon promise. Now, I know there was a lot to spew out, but I truly mean every word of it, and you guys are all the best and brightest, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. If they do, give them my number and I'll be in contact with them. Now, as I end my speech and we all end our senior years together, I just wanna leave you with this. Jokes aside, I care so much about each and every one of you, and you all deserve to take this time to celebrate all the good that you put in the world every day. Now to quote my dear Dean Robinson, I know you guys all have senioritis, but there's only a few more days till high school's a thing of the past, so goodness gracious, just turn in your assignments, please. And now, one last time, to quote Principal McWilliams, let's all do it together, guys. Not only were we Barrington, but, and we will forever be Barrington. Thank you all, good luck on the next four and all that comes after. Our final speaker of the BHS 2020 senior class is Kelly Spicinger. 
Okay, so before I begin, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Disney's High School Musical 1, 2, and 3 senior year for giving every high school student unrealistic expectations of what our four years at Barrington High School would be like. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, hi everyone, my name is Kelly Spicinger. Many know me as K Spice or Future Soccer Mom. And today I will be highlighting what were the most memorable, crazy, and iconic years the class of 2020 had in Barrington. I want to say a big thank you to North Barrington Elementary School, Prairie Middle School, and last but not least, Barrington High School for making me capable and qualified enough to be speaking in front of all of you today. Throughout my four years at BHS, I have been so lucky to have had the best teachers and mentors. I have received the best high school education. I have met so many amazing people. I am fortunate enough to have met and played with the best teammates in both lacrosse and my short-lived freshman volleyball career. I have realized that the best time at BHS as a girl is junior and senior year homecoming week where we take over the school with Philly football that encompasses a week full of theme days and an unhealthy amount of glitter that stains the school for the rest of the year. We witnessed history be made in our athletics, especially with our varsity girls soccer team winning back-to-back -back state championships, making history in Barrington. Barrington school spirit is special because we take it very seriously. Thanks to Big Red, we wear red and white striped game day bib overalls, and we represent B-Town loud and proud. I hope that all of you continue to embody Barrington school spirit and carry it with you on your next journey. Class of 2020, if we can survive the freshman bedtime chance, the freight trains that made us late for school, the main senior parking lot, our driving school behind the wheels, our old lunch food program, <laughs> our stressful junior year, our crazy senior year, and last but not least, the coronavirus season, then I think it's safe to say that we can do anything. We entered this world in the aftermath of 9-11, and now we are graduating during a global pandemic. The class of 2020 has truly been marked by the world and history. Even though our four years at Barrington High School were nothing like the movies, the class of 2020 made our, created our own high school musical experience and memories that will last a lifetime. Our own musical that we will leave behind as our legacy at BHS. My fellow seniors, I know our high school experience wasn't picture perfect and our senior year was not what we expected, but it will be far more memorable than any previous graduating class. Barrington's class of 2020, throughout this whirlwind sprint towards graduation, it has ended in a stroll around the neighborhood, literally. Whether we were sprinting or strolling, we have always all been in this together. I know we wanted spring sports, senior night ceremonies, a real spring break, disco dance and prom, our decision day celebration, senior ditch day, the senior boat cruise and breakfast, our elementary school walkthroughs, a proper last day of high school, but hey, at least we still have graduation. It just looks a little bit different this time. Having these altered senior celebrations of decision day, senior breakfast, and a graduation ceremony are ones that we all earned and deserved after all our years here in Barrington. This day marks your first big milestone and accomplishment that begins your list of many more to come. In the words of Octavia Spencer, but my dear graduates, let me be frank, the best years are very much ahead of you. She is so right. This pandemic may have been a big bump in our road this second semester, but the best is yet to come. Wherever you are going or whatever you are doing next year, remember to jump at every opportunity. Make some goals for yourself. Work hard to make an impact. Always give everything your best effort. Find a healthy balance. Have fun. Begin writing the sequel to your BHS musical. And remember that YOLO. Next year, I will continue to represent red, black, and white at Miami of Ohio. And I know there are a good handful of seniors out there that will represent those colors as well for their next two to four years. But for many of you, this is the end of the red and white game day bib days for you. I just want all of you to never forget where you came from. And remember that we are Barrington High School. Hats off to the two our colors, true we shall ever be. We are united now and forever as the super special class of 2020. I hope that all of you have a great summer. I wish the graduates and the members in the making of the class of 2020 the best. Go out there and change the world. Thank you for everything, Barrington High School. And for the class of 2020, in the words of Dora the Explorer, we did it, we did it, we did it. Yeah, Lohisimos, we did it.
Thank you again. This is Kay Spicinger at BSD 220 signing off. Wow, they were amazing. Those are great speeches. Now we have a special treat for everyone. Our 2020 Senior Breakfast video. suspending in-person learning in schools for the remainder of the 2019-2020 school year. The entire reason this school was built, that additions were added through the years, is because of you, our students. The staff of BHS went into the field of education because we wanted to work with young people to try to help you grow and find out who you are and who you can be, both academically and personally. You make BHS vibrant and alive. Now, walking through quiet and empty hallways, we miss the people who make BHS such an incredible place. We all miss the relationships and connections we've made with each other, a place full of over 3,000 people, full of life and potential and possibilities. We miss the excitement that our seniors generate each spring as we witness you preparing for bigger and better things. Class of 2020 is one that I will never forget. Together, you accomplished some amazing things. Collectively, this class has given me fewer headaches than previous years, and for that, I am extremely grateful. You have helped us to get in the know. You helped celebrate our diversity while bringing the school together. Along with producing a weekly BHS TV show, you filmed live streams, sporting events, fine arts performances, helped save the environment, mentored younger students, and much, much more. I am always amazed with my students' versatile talents, dedication, and especially your patience and your ability to put up with your old grumpy teacher. Most importantly, I want to say we had fun while making a positive impact on the school and the Barrington community. Thank you for all you did. I look forward to seeing what you accomplish in your life. Please keep in touch. And always remember, two, three, Hey, best of luck, everybody. 
I've been so lucky to teach so many great seniors through the years in Spanish class and in student council. Um, I just want to wish you guys the best. Congratulations. Good luck. I miss you and love you. Hey, see. My one piece of advice to seniors is to always remember BHS because you don't know what you've got until it's gone. Hello, class of 2020. I wanted to give a special shout out to Mrs. Baylor's first hour bio class, my fourth hour bio class, and seventh hour bio class. AP Biology has been awesome this year. I would say my number one memory though is driving all over the 70 something square miles of Barrington, dropping off your awesome AP bio shirts, seeing your smiling faces in person, and saying our goodbyes. Um, that's one of my fondest memories probably from all of my teaching career. Um, though it's unique circumstances, we made the best of it and our family bond that we have in class um, is stronger than these crazy times that we're in and I'm just so proud of us and so happy that we were able to end the year with such a memorable moment. So best wishes to all of you. Stay safe, stay healthy and again, a warm congratulations from me. Take care. Hey everybody, Mr. Stibe here. I just wanna give you a big congratulations on your graduation. We are so proud of you guys. And uh, we've been asked to give you some advice. So my advice to you would be just to know that you make it happen. It, all the stuff that you can't control, don't worry about it. Just know that you can be great and you just have to decide to do your best in whatever you're doing. Uh, couldn't be more proud of you and wish you guys all the best. So congratulations, seniors, and a special shout out to uh, all the boys soccer players, girls soccer players, and all the people I had in health class. You guys are awesome and we'll miss you. Take care. Seniors, um, this is not the way I wanted to say goodbye to any of you. It's been a great four years. Most of you are very, very near and dear to my heart. Um, best of luck in the future. Good afternoon. Class of 2020, when thinking about what I wanted to say, I thought of these, I thought of these lyrics. Your journey is about 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember my name. Mr. Salakian saying good luck, take care, hope to see you around one day. Congratulations, class of 2020, make the world a better place. Felicidades a clase de 2020. I wish you all the luck in the world. I'll never forget the Caja de Inglés from Two Honors, as well as the Social Injustice Project from Four Honors. Espero que tengan ustedes mucho éxito. Chao. Hey, any of you who know me know that uh, e-learning and technology is not exactly my strong point. There's no way I wanted to end my year with uh, 2020 seniors. Uh, I, I wish you guys the best, and you guys uh, have, have, have a different thing that you'll remember than anybody else, I can tell you that. Uh, best of luck, and hope we run, we run into each other somewhere down the line. Thank you. Congratulations, seniors. You have been a pleasure to work with the past four years, and I've had the good fortune of working with many of you for several years in the art department. You are a particularly creative class and an inspiration to us. So many fabulous adventures are ahead. Enjoy, and congratulations. Hello class of 2020, congratulations on your graduation. I know it didn't end how we all wanted it to, but we're still very thankful for the great year that we had. And here's a little present, we got a one man drum circle to send you off. Congratulations. Seniors, congratulations, you did it. You survived a pandemic, you can survive anything. Remember that and never give up. Congratulations. Congratulations, Barrington High School class of 2020. What lies behind us and what lies before us are but tiny matters compared to what lies within us. I think we can all say that we have definitely found our inner strength as we've had to navigate these new times and ways of learning this senior year. I'm so sorry that you aren't able to participate in your senior year activities as you had hoped, but I think we can all learn something from this experience, that even when times are tough, we have the strength within us to keep moving forward, to keep working hard, and to keep trying. You guys got this. Hang in there. 
and treasure these memories even though they aren't the ones you thought you would make. You're still making memories. Hold strong to those memories and enjoy every day that's put before you. Congratulations and best wishes to you all. Seniors, this is uh, Mr. Sanchez and I just wanted to take this moment to uh, wish you a heartfelt congratulations as you are wrapping up your career here at Barrington High School. Um, I know that certainly this is not the way that you had hoped that it would come to an end. Uh, I don't think any of us could have scripted this. Uh, but in the same regards, uh, here's what I know about this class. This class will overcome and this class will persevere. And I want you to remember that. Do not look at this negatively. You have every right to be hurt by it, but use it as your fuel, your fuel to move forward, your fuel to inspire you to do great things. We will get through this and we will come on the other side of this. And when we do, your class will be the leaders. Your class will be the ones that will use this as inspiration to do something greater. So as you move forward here and as you get ready to take the next step in your journey, as much as this may hurt not to be completely celebrating with your friends and your family the way that you would hope to, do not allow that to define where you will go from here. If anything, use this as an opportunity to inspire you to do something greater, and not just for our community, but for everybody around you. So seniors, I wish you the best. I thank you. I thank you for the last four years. Uh, many of you I've had the opportunity to share moments with in class or on the field. Um, and those are memories that I will take with me forever. Um, those are memories that have helped me to become a better teacher, a better coach, a better father, and a better husband, and a better man. So I wish you nothing but the best. Enjoy this time, and uh, please come back and visit. Hi, class of 2020. Congratulations on making it this far. My friends and I wanted to offer you a little bit of advice to always try your best no matter what and not take nothing from nobody. All I can say to you is just be yourself. Unless you're a jerk, then you should probably be a nicer person. Good luck, congratulations, and enjoy these next few years.
but get this, that was back in high school. <laughs> Feeling good, like I should When in the blue, walk around the neighborhood Feeling blessed, never stressed Got that sunshine on my Sunday best Day can be a better day despite the challenge All you gotta do is leave it better than you found it It's gonna get difficult to stand but hold your balance I just say whatever cause there is no way you're bound Everyone falls down sometimes But you just gotta know it'll all be fine It's okay It's okay, it's okay hey, Feeling good, like I should When in Durku, walk around the neighborhood Feeling blessed, never stressed Got that sunshine on my Sunday best some days you wake up and nothing works, you feel surrounded Gotta give your feet some gravity to get you grounded Keep your things inside your ears just like the waves and sound it And just say whatever cause there is no way you're grounded Everyone falls down sometimes But you just gotta know it'll all be fine It's okay Sunday best Hey, feeling good Like I should When in the blue Walk around the neighborhood Feeling blessed Never stressed Got that sunshine On my Sunday best Thank you to the Senior Breakfast Committee for putting together our virtual breakfast. We would also like to thank Mr. Malloy Dr. McFall, Mrs. Robinson, Mr. McWilliams, and the BHS administration and staff for their support. Class of 2020, to quote Brad Paisley, remember, tomorrow is the first blank page of a 365 page book, so make it a good one. See you at the virtual graduation class of 2020.